Hello, this video also was made following our subscribers request and it uh, here we will be talking about the queue inside ESP IDF free RTOS uh, environment. Uh, basically the queue is the line of data which is first in first out and we are paying the first slot, the second slot, and the third slot, and the first slot is the first to go out, FIFO. Uh, going to the documentation which we have inside the ESP, uh, it's uh, inside uh, API, the system API, and it's vanilla free RTOS. And here we have a queue uh, commands which can enable us to send and to receive data from the queue. Basically the queue is a memory outside the task which enables us to change the data uh, inside the queue, which we can put inside the queue between the task. I put a very simple program here inside Sims Q, uh, QSP IDF in GitHub, and, and in order to see how it works, let's go over it. After basic definitions of task and queue inside Free RTOS, we first define two handles for two tasks. One task will be will enable us to send the data to external memory and the other task will enable us to receive the data from external memory. So we define two handles for each task and we define the queue variable. The sending process sends three strings of this definition data1, data2 and data3 and the thing, the, those strings are sent to, to the queue, which is defined globally, and we will wait for uh, 100 ticks for this uh, operation. After each, uh, each action, we will print that the action was uh, completed. And after it, we will wait indefinitely in order to maintain the send task. The second task is receive, which just receive the, uh, the strings from the slots inside the queue. And we will, wait for, we will wait for this operation for 100 ticks. And after successful re reception of uh, the string from the slot, we will print it on the screen. In the main, we define the queue globally and we defined five slots, five available slots in the queue. Then we'll print the number of uh, available slots. We'll write down, in our case, three slots, and then print the number of available slots and uh, receive this, the, the data from the slots. And please note that after receiving, the slot will be cleaned. So we will expect the same number of the slots in the end. So let's uh, run it. Uh, yeah, and another thing we here waiting, note here, for one second uh, in order to enable enough time for the send task to, to send the data. So at the beginning we have five available slots, the five slots which were defined here. The three strings inside here, data one, two and three are sent to the queue. And in this stage we have we have a two available slots in the queue, because we have five in the beginning. And then we start to receive the data from the slots in the same order, because it's first in, first out. And the, after the reception, the slots are cleaned, 
we wait enough time to do to to, to enable uh, the SPSO T2 to complete this action. And um, after it, we have a, another available five slots after completion of the reception of the data and cleaning of the slots. This is the simplest code that I uh, could think of in order to uh, uh, check this uh, API. And uh, I hope it helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.